Hi, and welcome to Some Assembly Required, and I'm your host, Torben Ruddock. In this episode, we're going to be taking on one of man's greatest challenges, that is protecting your bird feeder from marauding squirrels. How many of you have been thwarted by evil squirrels? Squirrels that try to steal all your bird seed. Squirrels that ruin the appreciation of birds in your backyard. In this episode, we're building a squirrel-proof bird feeder. And we're going to give you 3D instructions to show you how to build one yourself. Squirrels typically have two lines of attack to their target. Number one, a ground assault or an aerial campaign. Now we win if we can thwart the ground assault and make an air attack impossible. The core of our defense on the ground will be a slinky attached to the post. This will work by making climbing the post so awkward that even the most determined and agile of squirrels will falter and give up. To give protection from the air, we'll add a bow on a spring so that even if a squirrel jumps on, he will tip off before he even gets to those delicious seeds. I've already cut all the pieces that we'll need to get started for this next part. They came from a seven foot long, six by one inch board and a sheet of plywood. We'll also need an 18 inch diameter metal bowl, a metal door stopper spring, our stand, everyone's favorite slinky, and a couple sheets of plastic. Let's skip over the basic building of the bird feeder. You can get all the instructions by clicking on the link beside this video, which will take you to the free publisher model. The first tricky part is adding the bowl to the top. I already have my wood cut out here with part of my door spring assembly installed. Next, we'll take a screw. We want to make sure it's got a wide enough head so that it does not slip through. We're going to slide it through like that. Next, we thread the whole assembly into the bowl and tighten with a bolt. Afterwards, we screw the entire assembly on to the top of the bird feeder. Yeah, that should thwart the aerial attack. Now let's move on to the ground defenses. We're going to take the slinky and we've slid it up the pole. And the next step, we'll staple it to the base. Now it's time for the field testing. We set this up in the backyard and it thwarted every squirrel that came at it. Awesome. You can download the 3D model and interactive instructions with all the dimensions by clicking the link beside this video. You can even download the Autodesk Publisher instructions to your iPhone or iPad. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like on YouTube or Facebook, and be sure to join us next episode as we build an air cannon.